Is China crazy? 240,000 workers are employed to build the largest desert reservoir in the desert, which took eight years to complete. After completion, it can irrigate an area of 600 square kilometers of land, making the lifeless desert green and lively. At the same time, it also has comprehensive functions, such as flood control, fish farming, sand control and tourism. You know, the desert has no water source. So, where does the water for this reservoir come from? In today's video, let's take a look at Asia's largest desert reservoir, a world miracle created by human hands. Okay, let's get started. The reservoir in the desert is Hongishan Reservoir, which was built in 1958. At that time, the technology was not very developed, and there was not much equipment to help, so it could only be dug by manpower. This is not a simple matter. There is only one reason that prompts people to dig it out, that is, lack of water. The area where the Hongishan Reservoir is located is seriously short of water and can only rely on underground water. Young people can only dig wells to get water, and more than 6,000 wells have been dug in a small county town. But the climate of scarce precipitation makes the groundwater is also not replenished, and the accumulated use over the years makes the groundwater level drop a full 30 meters, which can no longer meet the water needs of the local people, and the vegetation on the surface also dies due to the lack of water, and desertification becomes more serious day by day. In order to solve this problem, China decided to build the Hongishan Reservoir. But this decision was criticized by many people at the beginning of the construction. Many people think that building a reservoir in the desert is a fantasy, let alone in China, which was not very backward at the time. At the same time, some experts believe that the construction of the reservoir will damage the local ecological environment, and cause the area around the reservoir to dry up. However, in consideration of the local people's subsistence irrigation needs, China insisted on building the Hongyishan Reservoir. It took 240,000 people eight years to finally successfully build the largest desert reservoir in Asia. So, how was this huge reservoir built? Well, China at that time could not provide much heavy construction machinery and could only mobilize a large number of local people to excavate with hand tools. For a happy life in the future, the local people brought their own tools and daily food, and built the dam of the reservoir bit by bit with their own hands. In the end, it took eight years for the Hongyishan Reservoir to be fully completed. The completion of this reservoir has completely changed the backward situation of the local area. After the introduction of external water sources and accumulation in the reservoir, the local area has a convenient self-irrigation water source, and the water from the reservoir can be introduced into the farmland for irrigation. After the buildability is complete, problems follow. Because there is not enough vegetation near the reservoir to protect it, and there is a lack of windbreak and sand-fixing woodland, this causes the reservoir to evaporate a large amount of water every year without sufficient replenishment. In 2004, the reservoir even dried up. What experts feared before has come true. The original intention of building the reservoir was to ensure the survival of the local people and make everything better, but it paid the price of destroying the ecology and suffered the revenge of nature. In order to solve new problems, China has begun to take long-term management and protection of the local environment, and large-scale artificial forestation has been carried out to protect the natural sandy vegetation. At present, the forest coverage area of the county has increased by more than six times, and the windbreak and sand fixation belt is more than 300 kilometers long. Even a local natural lake that had been dry for more than 50 years was revived in 2010, and brought back to life by artificial water injection. In 2001, Hongishan Reservoir was listed as a national tourist attraction in China. As we all know, if the problem of land desertification is ignored, it may bring catastrophic consequences, such as soil erosion and sharp shrinkage of arable land, which will directly affect the living environment of all of us. What is even more unfortunate is that China is a country with severe desertification. The desertified land area is as high as 2.6 million square kilometers, accounting for nearly 27% of the country's land area, and this proportion has continued to expand in recent years. However, in the face of such a reservoir project that can not only alleviate environmental problems, 
but also bring convenience to residents, the American media began to criticize the project before it was about to be completed. In order to smear China's water conservancy project, they claimed that the construction of the reservoir affected the local ecological balance because of the nonsense that, the desert is also a part of nature and cannot be transformed at will. It is a challenge to U.S. power that China has overcome many difficulties to build large water projects that the U.S. could not do. Therefore, they tried to force China to stop work through public opinion pressure, began to claim that the natural environment had been destroyed around the world, and collected a series of so-called evidence. Such as a series of natural disasters, such as sudden snowfall in tropical Brazil, record-breaking temperature in the continental United States, and flash floods in the Himalayas. In fact, while the United States suppresses dissidents under the banner of environmental protection, it secretly develops weather weapons regardless of whether it damages the environment. As early as the last century, the United States began to secretly develop meteorological weapons, and in the subsequent wars, it also secretly put into actual combat by artificially changing the climate environment, so as to achieve the purpose of creating disasters and hitting opponents. On the Vietnam battlefield, the U.S. military has used weather weapons secretly developed by the McKinley Climate Laboratory. Because there are many virgin forests in Vietnam, and the Viet Cong lurking in them caused many casualties to American soldiers, this just became an excellent test environment for weather weapons. A military operation codenamed Popeye was put on the agenda, and the U.S. military subsequently dropped nearly 4.74 million rain bombs over North Vietnam. In a short period of time, man-made precipitation caused floods in many parts of North Vietnam. A large number of construction and farmland were destroyed, and countless people were displaced. Due to the weather, the North Vietnamese guerrillas hiding in the deep mountain rainforest suffered a large-scale non-combat attrition. This climate weapon has brought immeasurable pain to the entire Vietnamese people. It can be seen how ridiculous the United States is to question the Hongishan Reservoir, a desert oasis established by China, on the basis of environmental protection issues. At present, all functions of the reservoir are normal after the completion, and auxiliary industries such as tourism and vacation have also been developed. The living of the residents around the reservoir is not only guaranteed, but also the economy has grown to a certain extent. Now China has invested in the construction of water transfer projects in the local area, allowing people to use convenient tap water. The role of the Hongishan Reservoir in the local economic development has not been as necessary as before, but this reservoir has become a symbol of Chinese people's hard work. It has been rated as a national natural scenic spot and a national reservoir scenic spot by China, and has also been awarded the title of Pearl of the Desert. Every year, Thousands of tourists come to visit and are moved by the hard work spirit of the Chinese people. China's land decertification improvement plan still has a long way to go, but the completion of the Hongishan Reservoir is undoubtedly the most solid first step in the long term plan. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comment section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.